Uh, I'm going to demonstrate all of you today how to do connection system tracing with stylus driven lead. So this is uh, your CPS 3D locator and you can see the uh, kind of uh, curve here and uh, it has to go on uh, the normal Teflon wire and we uh, look at the setup here. I will show you the setup. This is this so we have already a R, this lead RA is placed in the RB which will act as a temporary pacemaker and once we are done with our connection system pacing we will take it into RA and this unipolar connection is now ready so here you can see here we have given to the skin and this black will be facing the uh, connection system so now this 9 French sheet will take this uh, CPS 3D locator and now it will go up RA is there and this is going over this 9 point sheet and now you can appreciate we are in the mid RA and then I am removing this uh, entire uh, so here I remove, I remove this uh, dilator and the wire and the uh, system sheet is there give us the flush so in RA you need to flush it plus this catheter it has been first earlier also and now we flush it again. Sheet will now, this locator sheet will take it into the RV acceptor, desired location. So go to RAO, so RAO 30 degree, you should try to get into it. Less array, less array, less array, yes. So now, now you see, you can see the fluoro, this sheet I will be taking into the RV. Now you can see here it has gone. Yes. And here you require a torque which if you go anti-clockwise and clockwise. So clockwise turn will take this catheter towards posteriorly and it will face the septum more. And uh, anti-clockwise will take it anteriorly and you can uh, face the free bar. So what I am going in here to see and the septum I will be rotating it little uh, the lead is inside the catheter only okay so 12 turns and you can see there you can see so once we have extended the helix we will just put it there so the helix which has extended should not come back when we are making rotations in coming up so it will lock the helix in extended uh, you know stage and you can also check while screwing in can see here it right. is it is it is free part here it is not totally covering and there it can uh, check the signal so you see now the, our lead is now now the lead is touching the uh, septum and we will try to face here we'll, and see in unipolar configuration uh, what kind of uh, intracardiac regimes we are getting okay Now we have the unipolar connections and this is tip we are facing in unipolar fashion and it is, we, are, we are in the right side of the septum, right side of septum. Now please uh, pace, now we are recording from the right side of the septum, you see here it is lead 2 is up and lead ABR and ABL they are recording and V1 you can see the W, W pattern. Now we will go here and try to get it. Now we see how we make turns. So like you see this hel helix locking device and you see this kind of turns you do and simultaneously you see there in the fluoro that it is going advancing. Show the fluoro here. Yes. It's advancing a bit. And now we will uh, now check here after advancement what has happened to our toilets. Sir, any tips on successful drilling of the lead? Yeah, so it has to be very slow. It, it should not be fast. 
and then uh, now we will paste from here and see how the uh, W pattern will not fail. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you can see the notch getting up. You can see the double pattern changing to uh, the notch getting up. And uh, now you measure the LVAT here. Okay. Measure the LVAT please. The notch has started going up. Still we don't have a small R but uh, it can further uh, improve. What is the LVAT please? 79. 79 LVAT. So we go further. Now you see, now you can see the appearance of RS, RS pattern and the RVA pattern. You can see here how beautifully it has changed from the uh, notch changed uh, to uh, the going in the upper direction. Finally, there is a uh, classical RVA pattern. It means your left side of the septum and L watt L watt has narrowed down. 61 milliseconds is the right now. This is the classical left bundle facing, and this is how you need to screw. Slowly, slowly, you have to go and gently you have to go inside. You see the ECG changing, and uh, now this is the R wave peak time, and the L wave was around 61. So your uh, V6, V1 uh, difference is some, somewhere around. Uh, 40, around 40. So this further confirms your left bundle fracture. And now we can take some jumper sample. We try yes. to. So you see the go to intercardic yes, sir. You know, signals. And now you uh, see from jumper driven, we have taken the sensing from the V, which is placed in left bundle. And this is the intrinsic conduction going on, not facing. And just before the query signal, from the, there is a small left bundle potential. And uh, please highlight that. Please highlight the potential left bundle potential. Got it. The measure from left bundle pressure to counter as pure rest it has to be around 25 milliseconds or less or around. Show us. Okay. Okay. It, it, it is further right, further right. Yellow one, uh, the left to yellow one will be further right. Okay. It is around 25 to 28 to 29 milliseconds. Okay. So this is the level potential demonstration. So you have seen uh, appearance of so you have seen appearance of RS RDS pattern. You have seen uh, L wave less than around 65 70. You have seen peak uh, R wave peak, uh, peak uh, V1 V6. This is around uh, 40. And you saw level potential. And you saw, saw the uh, you know movement of uh, advancement of left bundle the lead uh, stylus driven lead. Uh, and now we will try to split it out. Intrinsic area, intrinsic area. 130 euro. 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 130 now you see the, the, R, uh, the, RS, uh, the V1 uh, QRS when it is facing. Now come down to 2 and 1. Oh, and sir. you see now, one. Uh, you see now it has become little broadened. The R will further broaden. So this all five uh, examples of left bundle capture is their documentation today. Okay. So
So now you see this slitting. This has got a, got a longer slitter. Okay. So this groove has to be accommodating sort of uh, the lead, and this has to go inside. So you see, you have to simultaneously see the fluoro also. You have to go inside slit inside, and then once you touch this with the blue one now you take this over this okay and then you can easily slit it out so slitting is not at all a problem it is rather more predictable